Hey y'all, today I am excited about sharing a recipe with you that is one of our favorites. I don't know if we'd want to eat this every day, but almost every day I could eat this and enjoy it. It is quinoa tabbouleh salad. Tabbouleh salad is quite traditionally made with a different grain, but quinoa is so simple to make and it's so delicious and so good for us that we have learned to make our tabbouleh with quinoa and yum. I think you're gonna love it. So let me tell you the ingredients really quickly. I have chopped them up and prepared them just to make it easy to put them together and just show you how easy it is. But let's talk real quickly about what's in here because it's just seven simple ingredients and I love when we keep it simple. So quinoa, I take two cups of water and put a cup of quinoa in the water, bring it to a boil, turn it down on low, put a lid on it, and let it cook for 15 minutes. And voila, I have, um, it produces about four cups of cooked quinoa, and that's what I use in this recipe, yum. Then secondly, we I chop a few tomatoes, I come up with about a cup of tomatoes. I did not have a whole cup of cucumber, so this is what we're using today, but I use cucumber as well. And then I also use a lemon. You can use more or less according to your taste. And of course, lemon, um, they come in all different sizes. So you can just kind of do lemon to taste, but it's usually for this about one whole lemon. And then olive oil uh, and some cayenne pepper. So you wanna go light on the cayenne pepper, guys, all right? So as we put this in and then parsley. Now I de-stemmed the parsley already, but I kept a little bit with stems on it just in case you have never done that. You just kind of pinch it off right here and rinse it, and then I chopped it real good. I will actually end up adding the rest of this. I had a nice big bunch of parsley, and that's what I like for this recipe. So I have already taken that and washed it and chopped it up. So we are ready to put this all together. So just to the parsley, you can add your four cups of cooked quinoa and then a cup of cucumbers, a cup of tomatoes, and, and guys, I'll just tell you, there are no hard, fast rules. I have made this before without cucumbers when I didn't have them and just used tomatoes, and I have probably made it with just tomatoes when I didn't have cucumbers, and I've also made it where I put more in than just a cup. So seriously, this is so versatile, and you can change it up, but this is just the basic that you can start with. And then I'd start with about two and a half tablespoons of olive oil. That's about what I have here today. And then you can just see if, if you need more, but I would start with less because you know you can't take it out. You can always add a little bit more. We don't like ours to have a whole lot of olive oil, just a, a little bit, so you can decide. And there's here's about an eighth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. It's optional, so if there are people in your family that would be sensitive to the heat, then you don't have to put it in, but just a little of it really, really adds something nice. So I would encourage you to at least at least try that, um, even on just one serving, put a little bit just to see how you go. Then I just take my lemon and just squeeze it over, and I can tell this lemon is not quite all I'm going to want, so I'm probably going to add a little bit more lemon to this later but uh, you can taste it and just see for yourself because you're the one that gets to make the rules when you're making your salad it needs to taste good to you we have some in our family that just love tons of lemon and some who love less but lemon's good for us and i've learned to enjoy it so i will probably add more lemon to this and then you just stir it up is that beautiful or what and we add some of our, our good salt that has, a, you know, it's been naturally processed and it's just, it's got good minerals and so we don't overdo it, but either real salt or Celtic salt are great, great, great brands. So we'll add a little bit of salt and voila, it's done. I think you're gonna love it. I hope you'll try. Check out the recipe at hellohealthyhabits.com. Easy to print it there. Give it a try. Super healthy, super yummy, a win-win. All right. Good to be with you. I'll see you next time. God bless you big.